The Alabama Crimson Tide are coming off their win over Mississippi State and now face a 9-1 Charleston Southern at home. And more importantly, it's the final time the senior class will play at Bryant-Denny Stadium. It's bittersweet that's my last game coming up, uh, but I've had some great times here and uh, I've grown a lot as a player and as a person, so I'm always going to remember it and uh, just cherish the kind of relationships that I've built here over the past four years. It's not just the players getting sentimental about their senior day. Coach Nick Saban also reflective this week. I gave a little speech about time on my radio show the other day, but you know, you, you, you can't buy it, you can't stop it, you can't bottle it. Um, you just got to do the best you can with it, I guess, and try to make every day count. But I look at some of the guys that are seniors on our team and I'm saying, Man, I just went in that guy's house, seems like, two weeks ago. It goes by fast for me, too. Since 2008, Alabama has the most wins of any FCS program. This senior class has been a part of two SEC championships and one national title. The expectation has always been greater for them, and they, they haven't always been able to finish like we wanted to, uh, but they've shown a lot of resilience and leadership this year to you know, have a chance to create an opportunity for themselves to be able to maybe finish this year. The seniors with unfinished business and the legacy they want to leave behind. Hopefully as national champions, that's pretty much it. And it was great to be a part of this this year so far. And like you said, we got a long way to go, a lot more games to play, so. We have a, a dominant, you know, sort of physical tough team that nobody really wants to play, and I think we're still working to do that every week. Bama women's basketball hosting App State tonight. First quarter, it's May Shanti Knight. She gets the bucket. Tide go up by a touchdown, 14 to 7. We're still talking football. Still in the first, Correa Foy drives, drains the three pointer from the corner. Tide was all over App State. Carlisle Middlebrook brings it into the zone, takes it in for two for herself. And then here's Knight again, this time for the layup. She was all over the court. She led the team with 20 points as the Tide win, 93-59. to 59. Another tough team that few teams want to play is the Dayton men's basketball team, especially when the Flyers are at home. Tomorrow, Alabama heads north to take on the Atlantic 10 team that is undefeated in its last 23 home contests. The Tide is 1-0 this season after beating Kennesaw State at home on Friday, but Dayton presents a new challenge to first-year head coach Avery Johnson. We wanted to play in this game. We wanted to play against a tough early season, well-coached opponent on the road, on national television. So this was strategic, and fortunately uh, we were able to make it work, and fortunately Dayton is going to come and play us here uh, uh, next year. Another high school athlete is choosing to keep it local. American Christian Academy's Deacon Metters signed his letter of intent to play baseball at Alabama next year. Metters played for Hale County last year, hitting over 400 with five homers and 29 RBIs and compiling a 6-1 record with a sub-2 ERA on the mound. But next year, he knew the right decision was to stay close to home. It wasn't too hard of a decision. They were the my first offer I got a couple summers ago going into my junior year. Went out there, talked to the coaches, and I, I loved it. It felt like home. It is home growing up in Tuscaloosa. So it really wasn't a tough decision. It was definitely Alabama. 